Hey everyone, Matteo Fagan here from the CT Wine Review. Once again, it's Southington Wine and Spirits. And uh, here with Gay Callen of Chatham Vineyards, coming from California. Um, excited to have another show here. Just FYI, we were going to do another video earlier. And um, any of you, um, any of you winemakers and, and sales reps out there that want to be on the CT Wine Review, there is a requirement. You have to be under six feet tall. Because we did have someone earlier that was six six, I think. And if if you are over six feet tall, we need to know in advance so we can sit at the table. So, um, Gay, fortunately, is the right height to be on the ctwinereview.com. Gay, welcome Thank to you. Connecticut <laughs> and the CT Wine Review. And uh, tell us about your uh, fantastic vineyard in, uh, tell me the name because I'm going to screw up the county. Where? Chatham Vineyards is located in Calaveras County. Calaveras County. And Calaveras County is located in, in the center of the Sierra Foothills in California. It's the most eastern region. And so we have 11 counties in, in the Sierra Foothills itself, and we happen to be located right in the center. So from San Francisco, we're about two and a half to three hours due east. And I started the vineyard in 1981. So 1981, yeah. Yes. That's, that's already... I was a mere child yeah. at the time. Great. <laughs> and we are gonna, um, we're going to taste through three of your wines. We're going to start with the... Uh, this is the 09 Chardonnay all right. from Chatham Vineyards. So tell us about this Chardonnay, Gay, because um, very interesting. We were talking earlier because it's... Um, I'll, I'll let you talk because it, it's surprisingly you know, bold and how do you... What are the technical... Give us some technical a details. Little, a little tech, yeah. techno babble. Um, this is a stainless steel fermented Chardonnay, and it is 100% Chardonnay. It uh, does not see any barrel fermentation at all, and there is no malolactic to this wine. So the flavors and the viscosity that you're sampling is really from laying on the lees a little bit longer prior to... And explain for some people what le the lees are. Well, once, it's, one is, once it has been, it's gone through the crusher and once it's gone through the press, it's the it's the pulp and the skin that it does it's put into a very large it's called a fermentation vat but it's it's it sits in that and so actually what it's doing is um, gaining the benefit from from the leaves itself from the skin and the pulp so that that's where your the richness is really coming from not from a barrel um, about right. twenty percent is drawn off of uh, the Chardonnay itself and put into a medium toast barrel for about two months and then re-blended back into the Chardonnay. So there is a kiss of oak and that's really how we refer to it. Um, the nature of this wine itself is really lending itself more toward a, more toward a baked apple um, and pear characteristic instead of the Gravenstein. Most people think of an, an oaked Chardonnay or stainless steel fermented Chardonnay as something being very acidic. This is a very well balanced from start it to finish. It is. I think what's really interesting about this Chardonnay too is that obviously you've, you've got just enough contact with the lees that 20% barrel aging gives it enough, you know, enough of a, a little bit of a Oof. kick to yeah. it where because there's this new trend clearly this new stainless steel fermentation trend that's a good thing coming out of for chardonnays coming out of california but a lot of them still lack that depth of or that depth of flavor that you get from some of the chardonnays that are over oaked you okay. know so you're, you i think this is almost like if you're a you know if you're a chain smoker and you wanted to quit <laughs> and you wanted to quit smoking you wanted to like quit the oak monster Chardonnay and not have the... You could you know, come to Chatham and yeah. you would definitely you know, have, enjoy our Chardonnay. It's like those, you know, those new um, cigarettes that are the... Uh, what are those? Those... Um, electronic huh? Electronic, electronic smoke. smoke. You know, the ones that... Vaporizer. Vaporizer. So this is like for someone who's trying to get off Chardonnay that's over-oaked, you know, where it has that big malolactic fermentation style. It's still... Because it still has enough bodies. Right? Yeah, it's a good thing. It's... You know, well, I, I hope that all of you will remember Chatham <laughs> as, as you're getting off Chardonnay It's kick. the patch <laughs> for Kendall Jackson. <laughs> I love that. I like that's, that. That's that could be a good marketing. That's very good. The Kendall Jackson patch. I don't want to be sued, no. though, by sitting there. And you don't really want to be associated to with KJ, so <laughs> anyway. Um, well, our, the, also, um, 65 acres of fruit all told for, for what we craft in... Um, with the Chardonnay, we only craft about 800 cases of Chardonnay, so we're very, very small. It's Total production for us is 8,500 cases of wine. 
so it, and this well, is a good and this is nice transition wine right now the fall it's a nice fall absolutely. wine because even though absolutely. it's white it's it's um it has a little ni has some nice weight to it so i can see it's going with a lot of uh nice holiday you know upcoming holiday uh, dinners and it's so a, forth it's a terrific wine on its own with appetizers and or it's a it's a really wonderful food wine as yeah well. So easy to serve, very versatile. Very nice, yeah. And um, easy to drink. Yeah, great. And do you have a specific, do you have a, a favorite dish that you like just, to, you know, at I home think, that you like I, to have? I this? think because, well, fondue is always amazing. Fondue, nice. You know, it's always wonderful. Where we are, it, we do get a cooler, a cooler climate in the winter, um, warmer days and cooler evenings in the summertime. But in the winter, we do get, we get a cooler climate and I, you know, if we're making a fondue, a cheese fondue at home, I have no qualms about pulling out a Chardonnay. Yeah, that's great. It's a good pairing. Okay, we're going to jump to the next wine. On to the Cuvée, the 07 Cuvée. Tell us about this. This is, um, this is actually a project that we've been doing for a while, and it was under a different name. We brought it to the Chatham label, and we are, we're calling it Chatham Cuvée, um, because we did bring it out into the marketplace. So this is this vintage happens to be a blend of Merlot. It has some Cabernet, Syrah, Zinfandel, and it has our Tariga. Which, yeah, which is I think is fascinating. A Tariga, I have not, I haven't had Tariga from California. Now, as you said, it's not necessarily called Tariga Nacional, but it's connected to it is, Tariga it is. from yes. Portugal. Yes. Um, it has kind of a nice northern Rhone sort of aspect to it, I guess, in the nose. You know, I'm getting a little bit of a Rhone. Um, style to it, even though you know, a little bit of hints of black pepper. Um, I think it's it. probably the combination of all of the above. Yeah, it's it's a very versatile wine. It it is a screw cap, and um, we have found that with the price point of this wine, it's very well received in the marketplace. And when I say versatile, you it it is this is a, not a one dimensional wine at all. This is a wine that. Um, you get the different flavors of the different grapes that, that we have um, blended into this. Our winemaker is Mark Kuntz, who was with uh, Matanzas Creek and also B.R. Cohen. So his his blending skills are absolutely yeah. incredible. And, and these, overall, the vines, you said some of the vines are we're dealing with from 1980s, and that's... Yes. That's, I yes. Mean, that's pretty pretty old already. We're not considered for... old vine until we're 50 years oh, old that, yeah. in the ground. Ah. So. We're we're medium. We're medium. Still age. twenty plus years is is, yeah. is you know is great. So it's it it is for us with the barrel program that we use for our reds. Um, these the reds that that we craft see anywhere from eighteen to twenty four months in a medium toast barrel. We utilize American oak, Hungarian oak, and or French oak. So we're really not wanting to release something prior to its being ready for consumption. Yeah. And this is um, really a nice, uh, I think, a nice blend. All these, it really is a, a meritage, you know, a lot of these things coming together. And um, that's what meritage means. It means a marriage. I think that's, you know, what um, it's been done here. It's not, it's not overpowering. It's not too much of one. It's really an interesting, you can get little, you know, nuances of, of each varietal in there. And it's, um, it's, it's fairly um, robust in style. So some of the blends, I think, that are coming out right now are, can be a little lighter in style, but uh, this is really nice, smooth. It doesn't, you know, has a nice finish. It's well balanced, and uh, I think it would pair with a lot of. It's a very diverse one. It is a diverse. I can see this pairing with a lot of things, um, even you know something like you know like duck, even you know something where it's you know would be. Uh, uh, it's nice. It's really across the board. Yeah. We, you know, when when someone says, "Well, what would you what would you pair with this?" It really could be anything. Yeah. You could put a slight chill on it for summertime, but winter it. It is from duck to stew to mm -hmm. you know a, a spicy chicken dish. Yeah, goes across, all the way across the board. We're happy to be able to participate with this. Also, a portion of the proceeds that um, that we make from this, we donate to our local chapter for women's heart health concerns. Oh, that's good. So that you know, it, it's it's a mission for us, yeah. and it didn't start you know necessarily just for that reason. Um, but it has evolved into a, a really fun project for the winery. Now you say that your the um, your estate is about it's about 800, 800 acres. The ranch is eight hundred acres. The vineyard is is sixty five, and we craft eighty five hundred cases of wine, which is 
really allows us to um, utilize all of our own fruit. Okay. All right, let, lastly, let's, um, let's jump on to the next wine. Here we are with the uh, Chatham Vineyards Merlot, uh, 2007. Yes. So 2007, obviously a good year for, for you guys as well. Huh? Oh, absolutely. All absolutely. California. It's, um, we, we were very fortunate with the harvest in 2007. It, you know, for us, if we're not putting it in the bottle, it's, uh, or if it, isn't, if it isn't the quality to put in the bottle, you won't see it on the shelf. Yeah. Um, that's just a philosophy that we've maintained. The Merlot is um, one of the wines that we have done very well with in a very small, uh, small stature. We only craft about 200 cases of Merlot. Wow, 200 cases. It, yeah. it, it is a very small. We do a blend with, um, with our Cabernet, but the Merlot basically stands on its own with about a 12% blend of our Cab to it. Um, Connecticut is the only outside market that brings it in. Ah. So other than our tasting room, so nice. have so you try this. It doesn't go to New York. It doesn't go to New York, wow. which is um, which is fine. We're delighted to have it in Connecticut. Yeah. This is it, and we've actually survived the um, sideways. We got sideswiped by sideways. Uh -huh. Um, we've actually survived that whole episode. I think so. all in all though, I think the whole sideways anti-Merlot thing was probably a good thing because it... It, it brought more attention to Merlot, <laughs> I think. Is that good or... Well, um... You have it, to work a little hard, it, right? I mean, to, not you necessarily, a but a lot, of, a lot of wineries probably had to work a little harder to, to regain, to recapture people's interest and to show that they're, you know, real wines. And it's, uh, of course everyone knows the joke in Sideways, that at the end of Sideways, they're drinking Cheval Blanc, which is Merlot. Um, I don't know if any of you know that, but it's a little, a little, so, um, tidbit, little something. A little tidbit. Well, for our for our region, for Calaveras region, and it's it's region ten. If you're looking at uh, the grape growing maps, I thought that was that region thing. seven. Are you sure? We're no, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I forgot. No, it is it is ten. Um, we are too warm uh, to grow certain varietals, and Pinot, is, Pinot Noir is definitely not a varietal that we're able to grow successfully. Um, having had the Merlot go into the ground in probably 19, 1982, this is initially started out just as a blender for us, and we realized that the fruit itself does beautifully in our region. So we, we continue to craft a small amount, and um, if we're able to blend it into our cuvee or any of the other wines, we do that. But we we keep the Merlot on the shelf. And this is, I mean, this is a serious Merlot. It is a serious. It's a serious Merlot. It's not, you know, it's not a a lightweight. This is a heavyweight Merlot. I have there's lots of Merlots I think that we have um, that I've come across in the thirty, probably the thirty five dollar price range that I would stack this up against because this is, what are we looking at price wise for this gate retail? This is. Uh, 21 2199 I think there's there's plenty of $30 cab uh, $30 merlots that I would stack this up against because it's but it's well balanced I, when I say heavyweight I don't mean over oaked heavyweight it's just it has some nice fruit character nice balance really long finish to it um, well you know well structured I think the fact that there's how many cases 200 cases 200 cases 200 cases um, that's uh, it's nice it's uh, well balanced, and it, you can see it kind of um, it's very French in style. This Merlot, in terms of uh, you can see how why when I drink this, I think of I, it reminds me of why Merlot is such a workhorse in in France. You know, it's, it's true. because it's it really true. is the backbone of a lot of great French wines, um, and you can see why it's um, not overpowering so much in flavor, but it's got the structure, but it still has, it can complement a lot of great wines. And that's what it's, you know, it does, you know, but on its own too, this is fantastic. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Well, all right. Gay, I want to thank you so much for, uh, for visiting us here at uh, Southington Wine Spirits. And uh, you guys are looking for a fantastic wine, Chatham Vineyards. We'll be here at Southington Wine Spirits as well as Total Wine and Spirits in Milford. Um, so, yep, yeah, Gay, thanks again. Thank you. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Salute. Salute.